What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about what happened on this episode of uh, SmackDown. It wasn't too much that went down, but there was things addressed by Triple H himself. Shout out to everyone that uh, was a part of the live stream reaction. As always, we appreciate y'all. Y'all make the, the live stream reactions that much better. But we got to get into the meat and potatoes. I was really hoping that Cody was going to show up tonight. I believe he was advertised. I think it may have been last week. I could be wrong, but I could have sworn he was advertised to be on the show tonight. And I was really expecting that since, you know, what transpired at the press conference um, yesterday. But that did not happen. But we did get some, um, some answers, some clarification from Triple H himself. He started off the show and he wanted to make things very clear on who runs the show. So Triple H starts off the show. He comes out there with Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce, both general managers of Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. And he wanted to make things very clear on what's going on. He he said a few lines that I can definitely appreciate and we know who he who he was talking to in a sense. He said as they were flying back from Vegas, you know, everything was cool, you know, they, you know, everything was going great, but things kind of took a, took a turn, and as they were flying back from the press conference, you know, he, he had to start to realize things, and he, he, he wanted people to know, you know, that some people don't know their role, and that's, once again, that's a clear jab at the Rock crowd going on when he said some people don't know their role, that's what The Rock used to say in his promos back in the day. Know your role and shut your mouth. And then he basically said some people don't know their roles. But that's okay because I'm here to remind them. At the end of the day, I'm the one that makes the decisions here. What my decision and where I want things to go, I'm the only person that makes those decisions. My boy Triple H was standing on business, letting it be known. Like, I'm the one that runs the show. And to even prove that point, he said, Roman and Cody will be happening at this year's WrestleMania. They put a, put a, put a graphic, crowds going crazy, chanting Cody Rhodes. And he said, some people, they, they're probably not going to like this in the back. They're, some people may not, you know, you know, appreciate you know, me making these decisions. But guess what? It doesn't matter if they don't like it because I'm the guy that's running the show and got a nice uh, little ooh and ah. I, as obviously, as you guys know, that's, that's something that The Rock would say. It doesn't matter. So he's literally sending jabs at The Rock. What And obviously it makes sense why this is happening because of what transpired at the end of the press conference last night the rock has some choice words for triple h so triple h had to let it be known hey i run the show um it, it doesn't matter what you think this is how things are going if anything changes it has to come through me doesn't matter if you're at the board of directors no you can't just come in here and do whatever you want it comes through me and i can appreciate that you need to know your role rock you forgot who you're talking to. So I like that. I like that there's this, this tension now between The Rock and Triple H, but not in a in-ring aspect because we know Triple H medically can't go out there and wrestle anymore. It sucks. Maybe this would have been something they could have did years ago, but he can't. Triple H knows that. The Rock knows that. Now it's a battle of power. It's a battle of who really is going to be running the show. And I... That makes that adds an extra layer to this story that we have right now. There's an extra layer of what's going on. How is The Rock gonna feel about this? And there's a backstage segment involving Braun Breaker and uh, Triple H, and then Paul Heyman comes in there, and he lets he lets them know that um, The Rock and Roman will be there next week for um uh, smackdown uh and i'm pretty sure they're gonna address what they heard uh triple h say and triple h plain plain as they said i'm looking forward to it 
So it's now things are gonna start heating up. Triple H has now got inserted into this this situation with The Rock, maybe you know, on this power trip is a sense because he's one of the he's on the board of directors. So he feels like he can do things and say things over Triple H, and Triple H can't do nothing about it. But Triple H is letting it be known that's not the case. And Roman's kind of just on that same wavelength too. Like, this is our family. We can do this. And maybe Triple H may have to knock him down a peg too. So that's going to be a must watch. WWE's doing a great job of making it feel like you need to watch every week to see what's going to happen. So you have Cody versus Roman. That story, it's already been, been, I guess you can say, been in place since last year. This is Cody's redemption arc, trying to redeem himself and, and get the championship that he's, you know, really been trying to get and finish his story. Roman just wants to have a, a, a great match, but he doesn't want to do it with Cody anymore. He wants to do it with The Rock because, you know, he knows the, the that's the bigger match and he cares about the family being at the top of WWE, The Rock feels the same way down, and then you can build some little story intricacies with The Rock and Roman, and and The Rock probably trying to take over more of the bloodline, and Roman may, maybe not liking that. You also have a potential storyline with The Rock and Triple H and their history that they've had in the past, and now this new power dynamic, not in wrestling terms, but in business terms. It's very interesting. There's a lot of layers to this cake right now, and I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I love when he said Triple H stood on business tonight. Let The Rock know I ain't one of these JAGs out here. You ain't about to disrespect me. Things happen because I allow it to happen. I run the show now, and you got to listen to what I say. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Rock and Roman has to say next week to Triple H. And it's just... I'm looking forward to it, man. WrestleMania season is upon us, and things are looking in the up and up. So, y'all comment down below. Let me know, man. Did you guys like what Triple H had to say? And where do you guys think Triple H and Rock's, their story going to head to? I, I don't think it's going to head to a match, but how do you guys think things are going to play out just with them being in this power play move on the company side of things like who has more power within the company what do you think is going to happen between these guys because i'm i'm interested to see how the rock and triple h are going to be interacting with each other but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel vote to 150k and i'm still on speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace